things I left out, and I just kind of wanted to go over them. I was working on this other call. It's uh, just a little different design. I got the walnut itself from the Strawberry Man. Strawberry Man lumber, infinitely long. And he just has it laying up in a barn. It's all jagged and rough looking, rough sawn. Just kind of something like this. And I went and cut it down and used it all on the table saw. I don't have a planer or anything. I did use the, the table saw to cut out the the inside box this time, and I do have the sides about an eighth inch thick. The paddle I have it about a quarter. Again, I drilled this hole in there and around this thin edge. It's kind of tough to do, but I got it. But anyways, what I left out was on these angles here on the sides. You want to go probably, I've seen some people talk about four or five degrees. I went three on this, and it still sounds okay to me. I do get a higher pitch out of this walnut. I don't know why that is than this cedar one. Let's see if I can compare. But it sounds all right. Also, when you're putting this together, when you're you got your hole drilled out, it's going to be bigger than your screw, of course. But be sure to use something like this or even a bigger drill bit. You have to be very careful with and just give it a taper in there so that gives it a little more wobble also to help you move around your uh, paddle give it a little more voice and one more thing this is designed to function in the bottom of the ocean like from end to end here and to your center point there should be about a quarter inch difference so when you're making your arch just you know when you're making your pattern draw it out that way just draw a straight line I measure to the center measure up and then just go accordingly to give you the right angle. I've been working on my gobble. I thought I'd show you how I progressed to just grab it like this. And I use a lot of chalk when I do that. I think it I think it helps I think it helps it sound better if I use a lot of chalk. To glue this stuff together, I'm just using a epoxy. It's a little two-part thing that you squeeze it out and then mix it together. And you, I put it on pretty thin because I don't like cleaning up a big mess. I don't want a bunch of gushing coming around, out around the edges. So it just makes it easier to sand on and clean up later. Your sandpaper doesn't get gummed up. So, But it dries really fast. I mean, this is like, I'm trying to cover up the brand name. Uh, this dries really fast. I mean, I could work on it in like 15 minutes, which is convenient because who has time to do anything anymore? If you were to take the lid off of this and put it in a pond, you could put a mouse in it and he could use it as a little boat. And whenever you chalk it, uh, a little note here too. If you notice you got any flat edges on it when you run the chalk over it, you want to sand those and get rid of them because you want a nice smooth crown to this whenever you're working your call. I wanted to go over a few measurements for these calls. Uh, the overall length of this call, the big one that I made first, is 11 inches. This right here is one and a half inches, and it's the same up on this end. Now in the center of your arch right here, you want to add a quarter inch for that. So that would be about an inch and three quarters, I guess. Um, the width of the block of wood that I cut for in here, should be one and three eighths, and you'll want to cut your bevel down from that. I tried not to get rid of any edge at the top to keep my width, and then there's a quarter inch on each side for the wood, so that makes it one and five eighths total width. The thickness of the top is a quarter inch. The thicker you go, the more arch you get um, that you have to sand into it. I think it gives it a better sound. The end of the box to this end is six and a half, so just figure for that. The handle itself, you know, do whatever you want to. I just grab, uh, you know, different things around, like if I have an aerosol can or something, and I want a round edge, I'll usually I'll draw around that or something, and then finish out my line. I made this from a peg leg I stole from a pirate while in Tijuana. I wanted to go over uh, some measurements on these. The second call I made, the length from corner to corner of the box. It's five and a half. 
and I just took off a half inch, you know, I drew this square and then I took off a half inch on each side. The height of this is one and three quarters and this is one and a half that were to be straight down right there. The width of this box is two inches overall but that's with the sides. If you were to take the sides off, you would have one and three quarters at the block up here at the top. That's before I cut the bevel on it. I tried to keep the same width. That is one and three quarters, and I tapered down at the bottom. The lid is a quarter inch. It's a little thinner on this one. I didn't get a good arch on it like my last one, but it still sounds pretty good. The thicker you go on the top, the better sound I think you're going to get when you put the arch in it, but don't make it like a 2 by 4 thickness or anything, that's not going to help anything at all. But the, this hole is 5 eighths inch, in case you're wondering. I just kind of freehanded draw on this after I had it together. I had the plank for the lid. I usually, when I make the box, I'll make the box first, lay it down on the piece of wood for the lid, and draw a line on both sides, use the table saw to rip it. I'll have an extra length at the end, and then I'll just cut whatever I want out of it. You know, say it's a hole, say I want to make a paddle like this, or even a paddle like that. You know, I just lay it over it, make a line on both sides, and draw your pattern that you want. I made this from an asteroid that fell out of outer space. Here's a call I just finished. It's from my little brother. I call it the Swamp Walker Sweet Talker. Um, this right here is about one and a half inches. I really took the same dimensions from this call. You can see the same sides. I made the very same sides. Uh, so this is still one and a half inches. This will be one and three quarters. The width I made substantially narrower. The top of the box where I've got the width, it is a uh, one and a quarter, and then these are each eighth inch, so that should end up being an inch and a half by the time you get it all together. The lid is a quarter inch. I had this left over from the one I made from the big box call, um, but overall everything's about the same. Something else I want to say, when I cut these boxes out, I leave about a quarter inch for that bottom piece. If you saw in the first video where I had that notched out. I used a jigsaw. I've been using a table saw, uh, cutting the block out. Now, this is all dangerous. You can lose a finger doing anything. I mean, just try changing a tire. But, you know, I cut that block out and I rip it on the table saw, you know, running the blade through. I usually I make up a jig where I can cut that. Um, everything's dangerous when you work with tools. I just want to let you know how I do it. Um, but, yeah, about a quarter inch in the bottom I did on each of these. So, but make up your own pattern, do whatever, but if you want to copy something like this, uh, I hope these measurements helped you out.